Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, I offer you a spring crochet along. So this spring crochet along is part of a year-long series on my channel where each season I will drop a crochet along, a make along, or a project of some sort to bring a sense of community to my channel. So this particular crochet along will last five weeks long. Every Saturday I will drop a video giving you further instructions on how to proceed with the project that we are working on, which in this case is a spring throw. So this throw will approximately measure 50 inches by 60 inches, depending on your hook of choice as well as your yarn of choice. Now the yarn that I am using for this crochet along will be Karen Cotton Cakes. The colorway is Calico Flowers and it is 530 yards, 485 meters, it is 8.8 ounces and 250 grams. They suggest a five millimeter crochet hook. However, I will be hooking up to the next size. So instead of using an H, I will be moving up to an I. So a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, okay? And I originally proposed 2,100 yards, but because of the fact that we're not sure exactly which stitches we're using, we may need less, we may need more. We're not sure. So to further explain, recently, I had the members of my channel come to me and ask to bring back the wheel for the crochet along. I originally had everything planned out, but it seems that the viewers like the wheel. So we're going to include that in this crochet along just for the viewers. Okay. So let me place you on a brief pause. I'm going to grab the wheel and we'll proceed further. Okay. One second. Okay, friends. So I am back with the wheel, but before I get into the details of the wheel, there's some things that I wanted to discuss with you. So first and foremost, I wanted to tell you that I will be creating a rectangular shape beginning. I don't want to even call it a motif. It's literally just a shape to get us started. Okay. Again, I'm going for simple here, simple and effective and fun. Okay. So I will be creating that. Secondly, um, depending on which tutorial you are watching, if you are watching the right handed tutorials, you will notice that all texts are inverted. It's flipped because I am a left handed crocheter and I flip my videos for right handed crocheters just so that when I crochet, you see me working with my right side as opposed to my left. So yes, the wheel has all of the wording here and depending on again, what video you're watching, you may see everything here backwards. So that's why I'm going to verbally explain everything and move forward from there. Now, before I spin for the stitches, I want to tell you that I will be spinning for four stitches each and every week. All five weeks, we will be spinning for four stitches. Now, depending on which stitches we receive, I have the right to veto one of the stitches. If the stitch does not fall into place due to stitch count or it just doesn't flow correctly, I will tell you guys that I will be vetoing the stitch and I will be implementing Juan's choice. Okay. And at the end of every week, we will finish our project with a border of having like a ridge. So whether that's front post double crochet or back post double crochet, there will be something that separates each and every week. So when you look back at your project, you will know where each week has started and stopped. Okay. So there is that. Now, um, let's go ahead and get into what stitches are on the wheel and then we'll spin for our stitches and get this started. Okay. Okay, friends. So the first slice here is single. The next slice is extended single crochet. The next one is half double crochet. And then we have an extended half double crochet. After that, we have double crochet. And my friends, I do have double crochet on here twice because it is a foundational stitch. It's fundamental. It's one of those stitches that, you know, really builds out a project. So I do have that on there twice. After that, we have an extended double crochet. After that, we have twins in a stitch. After twins in a stitch, we have half double cross. And then we have windows. After windows, we have double cross. And then we have the V stitch. 
After the V-stitch, we have Wands Choice. And then we have the second double crochet slice, as I mentioned just a few seconds ago. And after that, we have the double V. So that could also be interpreted as the iris stitch. It just depends on your take on it, because I do know people that call the iris stitch two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. But then I also know people who call the iris stitch two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So just to be on the safe side, it is a double V. So there's that. And then here we are back at the single crochet. Okay, so now that we have all of the stitches, we're gonna begin by spinning for our stitches, okay? Okay, so let's spin for the first stitch. Okay, half double cross. So let me go ahead and write that down. Half double cross, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna spin for stitch number two. We have the double crochet. Love that. Double crochet, okay. Let's spin for stitch number three. Extended half double. Okay. Extended half double. And now let's spin for the final stitch. We have twins in a stitch. Okay. Twins in a stitch. Okay. Perfect. So the four stitches for week one are half double cross, which are two half double crochets crossed over. I'll show you how to do all of it. It's fun and it's easy. Next we have the double crochet, and then we have the extended half double crochet, and then we have twins in a stitch. Okay. So I will meet you guys over next door at the tutorial table and we'll get started. Okay, friends, so here I am at the tutorial table. I have my yarn in tow. I have my five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I also have a pair of scissors that I will be using also as a pointer. And then I also have a needle here to sew in my ends. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is create a slip knot on the hook. So however you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. From here, we need to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. From here, we need to go into the third chain from the hook, which is right here, with a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the chain, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Yarn over, go next door to the next chain, Insert your hook and drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. We're going to continue that for the rest of the chains here. One more to go. Okay, so we should have eight half double crochets. Let me just count to verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is chain two. And then we're gonna insert a half double crochet back into the chain right there in between my thumbs. It's the last one of the row. Yarn over. Go into that chain space, insert your hook and drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. From here, we're gonna chain two, 
and then we're going to go back into that chain for a third time with a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. From here, we're going to insert a half double crochet on the bottoms of all the stitches of the row, or of the round, rather. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go into the bottom of this stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Okay? Yarn over, go into the bottom of the next stitch, let's get that tail out of the way, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Just like that. Continue doing that until we get to the end here. We should have eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. After your eight half double crochets on the second side there, what we want to do is chain two, and we're mimicking this side here. So chain two, and then we're going to go right back into that stitch, right in between my thumbs, with a half double crochet. Okay, from here we're going to chain two, and then we're going to slip into the very first half double crochet, not the chain space, literally the first stitch. So take the tip of your crochet hook and insert it into that very first stitch, draw up a loop, and slip to close. Just like that. So just to recap, we have eight half double crochets, a chain two, half double crochet, chain two. We have eight half double crochets here, chain two, half double crochet, chain two, and we slipped into the first stitch. Okay? So, for round two, what we need to do is chain three. So, one, two, and three. The chain three does count as a double crochet. This round two is double crochets, okay? So, from here, we're going to go into the stitch next door, and we're going to give that stitch a double crochet as an upstairs neighbor. So yarn over, go into not here, but next door, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That's a double crochet. Okay? Now, it's very visible that there's a gap there, but that's fine. That will go away. This is counting as a stitch, so we're good. So we're going to continue on doing double crochets in on the tops of every stitch of the side here. It's going to be yarn over, go into your stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is counting as a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Okay, so from here, what we need to do is we need to go into the chain space with one double crochet. From here, we need to chain two. And then we're gonna go back into the chain space with two double crochets. From here, we're going to hop over the half double crochet from the previous round, and we're going to do two double crochets. Just like that. From here, we're going to chain two. We're going to slide it around, and we're going to go back into the chain space with a double crochet. Okay, and that's what the one side looks like. 
and I'm going to briefly explain why we did what we just did. So, I was taking this side from an odd number, a round that only had one stitch, to a side that is an even numbered side now. So we went from one stitch to four stitches. Okay, so I want all the sides to be even. So we had eight stitches here. We added one, which is nine. But when we come back around in this chain space, we're going to do a double crochet. So it's going to make sure that all the sides are even. So just to recap, it was eight double crochets, a chain one, chain two, two double crochets, and then we hopped over to the chain space on the other side, two double crochets, chain two, and now we're going to continue doing double crochets on this side right here. Okay, so I'm going to place you on a brief pause, continue on doing double crochets for this side, and I will meet you in the chain space right here. Okay, so here we are at the corner chain space. And from here, we're going to insert one double crochet in the corner here. We're going to chain two. We're going to slide it around. And then like this side down here, we're going to go back into the chain space with two double crochets. One and two. And then we're going to hop over this one stitch right here. And we're going to go into this chain space right in between my thumbs with two double crochets. Okay. All right. So it's very easy to mistake in this for the chain space, but remember, this is actually considered a stitch. Okay. So from here, we're going to chain two and we're going to slide it around and we're going to go back into this chain space right here in between my thumbs with one double crochet. Okay. From here, we're going to go into that top chain. Remember, it was a chain three. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We're going to go into that top chain insert our hook, drop a loop, and we're going to slip to close. And just to recap, let me put this down like so, like that. Okay. So you should have 10 double crochets, chain two, four double crochets, chain two, 10 double crochets, chain two, four double crochets and chain two for a total round of all double crochets. Okay. So from here, what we need to do, um, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two. We're going to cut off, make sure to leave a decent sized tail. We're going to pull the hook away from our work. And we're going to hold on to our working yarn and pull down. And it's going to create that knot there. Okay. I'm going to turn the work over to the back side here. Grab the needle and we're going to sew in our ends or our one end. All right. So yarn over the eye of the needle, pinch, pull it out and stuff that through the eye. And I like to use a zigzag technique. So just kind of draw a letter Z as you go. If you can manage to get in between the fibers, that's great. If not, don't worry. That knot is not coming out. Okay, let's go back through here. And then finally, one final pass in the other direction. Perfect. Okay. Let's trim that off. I'm 
Let's go ahead and trim that off as well. Okay, so this is the back side. We're going to turn this over to the front side. Okay. Okay, so for round three, we're going to do two rounds of the double cross. So to get started, what we need to do is we need to create a slip knot on our hook. Just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a corner that we did not just come out of. So this is where we ended. I'm going to hop over here to this corner. You can choose whatever corner you'd like. And we're going to do a standing single crochet. So once you have your slip knot on your hook, you're going to go into the corner, draw up a loop. You have two loops there on the hook. You're going to yarn over and go through both of those, just like that. And from here, you're going to chain two. All right, so each corner will be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, so this does count as a stitch. So that's one double crochet. You're going to yarn over, go back into the corner there, and do a double crochet. We're going to chain two, go back in with two more double crochets. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to slide the double crochets over to reveal the head of the stitch. So this little triangle is considered the head of this stitch right here. Okay. So to do a double cross, what we're going to do is we're going to skip this very first stitch here. Let me grab my pointer. We're going to we're going to skip this stitch here. We're going to hop over to the second one. Okay. And we're going to give this stitch a double crochet. And then once that's done, we're going to hop back over here and give this stitch an upstairs neighbor a double crochet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Yarn over, go into the second stitch here, double crochet. Yarn over and come back to the head of that stitch with a double crochet. Just like that. That is a double cross. And so we're going to do the same thing to these two. Okay, we're going to skip this stitch here and we're going to come over to this one. Yarn over, go into that stitch, drop a loop, double crochet there, and then come back here and do a double crochet into that stitch. Just like that. Okay, and now we're at the corner. We're going to do two double crochets. chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, and so you can see the head of that stitch so we don't have to really slide anything over. It's visible. We're going to continue doing the double cross to every set of two double crochets. So on this side here, there should be one set, two sets, three sets, four sets and five sets of double crochets. Okay, so I'll do one with you here. Yarn over, skip the first one, go to the second one here, draw up a loop, do your double crochet. Yarn over, go into that skipped stitch right there and do your double crochet, just like that. Okay, so continue doing that for this side and I will meet you right here in the first corner here at the end here. Okay, we're at the end of the row here of this side, and I'm at the corner. So this corner, like the other corner over here, will receive two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So that's two double crochets there. We're going to chain two, and then we're going to do two double crochets. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to do... A double cross with these two double crochets here in between my thumbs and then we're going to do a double cross here in between my thumbs here with these two stitches and then we're going to mimic this side over here with two double crochets chain two two double crochets okay so continue with that and I will meet you at the next corner 
Okay, friends, I just came out of the next corner, and this is kind of what we're looking like so far. Okay, so we need to make sure that this side here matches this side here. So, as of right now, we have two double crochets and two double crochets. So, in between those two sets of double crochets, we need five double crosses. Okay, so we have 10 stitches here. So every two stitches gets a double cross, okay? So what we're gonna do, because this was a chain three, we're going to yarn over and go into the top of that chain three space right there. It's a little tight, but that's okay. Draw the loop, do your double crochet per normal, and then you're gonna go into the head of that stitch that we just skipped and do a double crochet, just like that, okay? So from there, we're going to hop over. We're gonna skip that stitch and come right into this one with a double crochet, and then come back. The, the head of the stitch is really tight, but you can see it, it's right there. Yarn over and go into the head of that stitch, and drop a loop, go through two, go through two. Okay, so continue on doing the next three double crosses and I'll meet you at the end of this row here. Okay, we are at the end of this row of the side. Okay, there's two stitches remaining. We're gonna put the final double cross on top of these two stitches. So yarn over, go into the far one here, do your double crochet, yarn over and come back double crochet, just like that. And then now what we want to do is we want to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the top chain. So we did a standing single crochet and then a chain two. We're going to go into that second chain, draw up a loop and slip to close. Okay. So let's do a quick recap. So we have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. We have two sets of double crosses here. Then we have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then we have five sets of double crosses, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Two sets of double crosses here, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And so that completes round three. All right, so to do round four, what we need to do is we need to slip to the corner. So we're gonna go into the very next stitch, draw up a loop and slip, and then go into the chain space and slip, just like that. From here, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three and that will count as a double crochet. We're going to do another double crochet to complete that corner here, the beginning of the corner for two double crochets, and then we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna go back into the chain space with two double crochets, one and two. Slide that over to the reveal the head of the stitch, right there, and we're going to do a double cross. So we're going to skip this stitch and go into that stitch, the next door here. Double crochet. Then we're going to go back into the very first stitch here, the head of the stitch. Yarn over, go into that spot. Do your double crochet, just like that. Then we're going to go on top of this double cross. So we're going to go into, not this one, this one right here, the far side, double crochet, yarn over and go into the one we skipped, double crochet. I'm gonna do the next one quietly so you can watch. Okay. 
So I'm going to do another double cross on top of these two double crochets here. And here we are at the corner. So we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets back into that corner. And so that's what we're looking like so far. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to leave the rest of the round to you. You're going to go into all the sets of stitches and add another double cross. So double cross here, and then you're gonna do double crosses on top of the existing double crosses. And then here you're going to do a double cross. Your corners are going to be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay? And so continue on with this and I will meet you at the end of round four right here, okay? Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round four and what we need to do is we need to go into um, the far stitch here to finish off the last double cross. So we're going to go into the top of that stitch there, drop a loop, do our double crochet, yarn over and go back into the stitch we skipped. Do a double crochet there. Okay, and to close off round four, we need to go into that top chain right there. Drop a loop and slip. And now we're going to slip over to the corner. So we're going to go into the next stitch here. Drop a loop and slip. And then we're going to go into the chain space. Drop a loop and slip. Okay. So this is what we're looking like after round four. It's looking great. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick recap. So for the short side, we have two double crochets, and then we have four sets of double crosses. One, two, three, and four. We have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven sets of double crosses. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then we have one, two, three, and four sets of double crosses, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven sets of double crosses here. And then we ended the round with these two stitches here. Okay, just slipping over into those stitches. Okay, so. What we need to do now is move on to round five, and round five are double crochets, okay? So to get started, what we're going to do is we are going to chain three. The chain three does count as a double crochet, so we're going to yarn over, go back into the chain space, and do another double crochet, and each corner of our project for round five will be two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Just like that, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to insert double crochets on the tops of all the stitches of the side here. So we're going to go into the head of the very first stitch, which you can see right here. Yarn over, go in to the head of that stitch, to your double crochet, and you're going to continue on doing double crochets all the way down this side here. Okay? So continue on with that, and I will meet you at the next corner. Okay, here we are at the next corner, and we're going to go in with two double crochets, chain two and then two double crochets, just like that, okay? 
So let's slide those two double crochets over to reveal the head of the stitch. It's very easy to forget about it if you don't see it. So slide those over, go in, well yarn over, and then go into the head of the stitch and do a double crochet for the very first stitch there. And then continue on giving every stitch here an upstairs neighbor, okay? So continue doing that and I will meet you at the next corner here. Okay, here we are at the next corner. We're gonna go in like before with two double crochets. Chain two. And then two double crochets. Just like that. And as always, slide those over to reveal the head of the stitch. We don't wanna miss that. Yarn over, go into the head of the very first stitch of the side and do a double crochet. And then you're gonna continue on giving every stitch a double crochet in the corners, as I mentioned two other times, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay? So continue on here and then come around the side here and I will meet you at the end of round five, okay? Okay, here I am approaching the end of round five. I have two stitches remaining. I'm gonna do them with you on camera. Two double crochets here. Okay, it's a little tough because that was the chain three spot there. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to slip into the top chain, just like that, drop a loop and slip to close. Okay, so this is the end of round five. Okay, and so what we need to do now is verify the counts, which actually I did off camera. So this side here, the short side should have 16 double crochets and the long side should have 22 double crochets. Okay, 16 and 16, 22 and 22. And then each corner should just have two chains. Okay, so let's go ahead and slip into the corner. So we're gonna insert our crochet hook in the top of this stitch right here, drop a loop and slip. And then we're gonna go into the chain space and slip. And for round six, we're gonna do another round of double crochets. We're going to chain three, go back into the chain space with another double crochet, chain two, slide our work around, go back into that chain, two double crochets, okay? So for round six, it's exactly like round five, okay? So one double crochet in every stitch, in the chain spaces, it's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, and don't forget the beginning of each side, slide it over to reveal the head of the stitch. The first stitch always needs an upstairs neighbor. Okay, so continue on with round six, and I'll meet you at the end of round six. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round six. I have two stitches remaining, one here and one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over, go into the head of that stitch. It's a little tight. Drop, double crochet, and then right next door here. It's a little tight. There we go. Double crochet. Okay, like before, we're going to go into the top chain, drop a loop, and slip to close. Okay, let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the counts for round six. So we have 20 double crochets here, 26 double crochets here, 20 double crochets here and 26 there with chain twos in the corners. Okay, so very quick, 20 on the short side, 26 on the long side. Okay, all right. 
Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round number six. I have two stitches remaining. Let me go ahead and grab that yarn. Okay, so we need to go in the top of this stitch right here and then the top of this stitch right here, double crochets. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the head of that stitch, draw up a loop, double crochet, and then into the top of this stitch right here, double crochet. Okay, so to close out round number six, what we want to do is we want to go into the top of these three chains here, which is right there. Draw up a loop and slip. Let's go ahead and slip into the corner. So insert our hook into the next stitch there, draw up a loop and slip, and then go into the chain space, draw up a loop and slip. Okay, so that is what round six is looking like. Let me just move the yarn out of the way there. Perfect. Okay. So we have um, 20 double crochets on the side here. On the short side, it's 20. And then on the long side, it's 26 double crochets for round six. And then, of course, as always, the corners have chain twos. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to round number seven. Round number seven is extended half double crochets. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and chain three. The three chains count as a stitch. Okay, so to do this side here, we need just one more extended half double, and then we're gonna chain two, and then do two extended half doubles back into the corner. Okay, so to, to do an extended half double, you're gonna yarn over, go into the chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through just one loop, yarn over, and then go through three. There we go. From here, we're gonna chain two. Let's swing our work around. And then go back into the chain space with two more extended half double crochets. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, and go through three. Just like that. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through three. And that's what we're looking like there. Okay? As always, make sure that we grab that first stitch, slide the work over, and it will reveal the head of the stitch. Let's do an extended half double there. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through three. Okay? So continue on for round number seven, extended half double crochets in every stitch and in the corners it's going to be two extended half doubles, chain two, two extended half doubles, and of course don't forget about giving the first stitch of each side an upstairs neighbor. Okay? So I shall see you at the end of round seven. Okay friends, so I am wrapping up round seven and I have two stitches remaining. So I'm gonna go in Come on, there we go. It's a little tight because it was the chains. So, drop a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through all three. Yarn over, go into the last one, drop a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through three. Okay, so to close out round seven, like before, we're gonna go into the top chain before the stitch, drop a loop, and slip. Let's go into the next stitch here, drop a loop and slip, and then go into the chain space, drop a loop and slip. Okay. So, this is what we're looking like. Let me back us up a little bit. Okay. So, at the end of round seven, on the short side, we have 24 stitches. 
on the long side, we have 30 stitches, okay? All extended half double crochets. And then of course, as always in the corners, we have two chains, okay? So that is where we were at right now. Okay, so we're gonna move on to round eight. Another round of extended half double crochets. We're going to chain three, Go back into the corner with an extended half double crochet. Chain two, swing our work around. Go back into the corner there with an extended ha half double crochet. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through three. Do that one more time. And then we're gonna do another round of extended half double crochets. As always, make sure that the first stitch of the round gets an upstairs neighbor, and when you can't see it, just go into your corner, because it has to happen. We can't not give the first stitch an upstairs neighbor. So we're going to yarn over, go in, drop a loop, and then perform the extended half double, just like that. And then we're gonna go into the next stitch there, okay? So, another round of extended half double crochets. And then I will meet you at the end of round number eight, okay? All right, I'll see you at the end of round eight. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round eight. I have two stitches remaining. We're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through three. And then in the last stitch, yarn over, go in. As before, it's kind of tight because we've slipped through the previous row there. So go through one, go through three. Okay, so to close it out, we're gonna go into the top chain right here, insert our hook, drop a loop and slip, Go into the next stitch here, drop a loop and slip, and then in the corner there, drop a loop and slip. Okay, so this is what round eight is looking like. Okay, let me just back us out a little bit. Okay, so. I've had some practice with round nine, <laughs> it's just, which is why it's looking like that. All right, so for round eight, on the short side, we have 28 extended half double crochets. And then on the long side, we have a total of 34 extended half double crochets, okay? So to move on to round nine, round nine is twins in a stitch, so. The corners will receive two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. All right, so let's start with that. Chain three. And then that does count as a double crochet. So then we're gonna go in and do another double crochet for two double crochets. Chain two, and we're gonna swing our work around Go back into that corner with two double crochets. And that is our corner, okay? So this first stitch here is supposed to have normally an upstairs neighbor, but we're doing twins in a stitch. So we're going to skip that very first one and go to the second one there. This stitch right here that we can see is the next one over. So in that stitch, we're going to do twins, two double crochets. All right, we're going to skip the next one, and then in the next one after that, this one, twins in a stitch. Just like that. We're gonna skip, and then go twins in a stitch. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this round here. It's twins in a stitch in every other stitch. <laughs> So we're gonna skip and go into this one with two double crochets. 
skip, go into the next one, two double crochets. Normally I like to add chains to this, but to just keep everything consistent, we're gonna do twins in a stitch in every other stitch. So, twins in a stitch in every other stitch. Has a nice jingle to it. <laughs> okay, so continue on with that. Twins in a stitch in every other stitch all the way down and I will meet you at the corner. Okay friends, so here we are at the corner. We're gonna go ahead and go into the corner with two double crochets. Chain two, swing our work around and go in with two double crochets back into that corner. Okay. So then we're going to skip giving the very first stitch an upstairs neighbor, which normally would be in the chain space because we don't really see the head of the stitch. Well, we can kind of see it here, but we're going to skip that one and go into the next one with twins in a stitch. Skip and go into the next one with twins in a stitch. So the jingle is twins in a stitch in every other stitch. Just like that. Okay, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Go ahead and do twins in a stitch, two double crochets in every other stitch. And I shall see you at the end of the next corner. All right. Okay, friends, so if you're doing twins in a stitch in every other stitch, you will end up in the last one, okay? So then we're gonna go into the corner there, do two double crochets, just like that. Chain two, swing our work around, and do two double crochets in the corner. Okay, and as always, we're gonna skip the first one and go into that second one that we can see right? Because if we slid this over, the head of the stitch is right there. We're skipping that one. We're going to go into the next one there. We're going to do twins in a stitch right in that one. All right. And as the jingle goes, twins in a stitch in every other stitch. So we're going to skip that one and go into this one. Just like that. And we're going to continue on. All right. So I'm going to allow you guys to continue on for the rest of the round here. Twins in a stitch in every other stitch. And then in the corners here, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay? So I shall see you at the end of round nine. All right? Okay, friends. So I am wrapping up round nine. I have one set of twins to put in here, so I'm going to skip that stitch and go into the last one. Go in there very carefully. It's tight because we've been slipping, slip stitching into that. Drop a loop, double crochet, and then go back in there again. There we go. Okay, so to close out round nine, go into the top chain as always, slip, close, Go into the next stitch, slip, close, and then go into the chain space, slip, and close. All right, so this is what we're looking like. So much better. Love this. Okay. All right, so for the long side, we are to have 38 stitches, so 19 pairs of twins. 19, yeah, 19 twins. <laughs> and then on the short side, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 32 stitches on the short side. All right, 32 stitches. And then uh, 19 on this side, 19 pairs of twins. Um, so 38. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to round 10. So round 10 is another round of twins in a stitch. So we are going to go ahead and chain three. 
We're going to go back into the corner with a double crochet, chain two, swing our work around, go back into the corner with two double crochets, just like that. We're going to skip going into the head of that stitch, go into the second one with twins and a stitch. Two double crochets. And the jingle is the same, twins in a stitch in every other stitch. Okay, so skip and go into the next one with twins in a stitch. Okay. And you'll notice um, it's going to fall right in line. Twins in a stitch in every other stitch. Okay. So let's go in, skip, go into the next one twins in a stitch just like that okay so continue on with with this twins in a stitch in every other stitch whoops there we go and then in the corners it's going to be two double crochets chain two two double crochets but just for good measure continue with this and I will meet you at the first corner right there okay Okay, so here we are at the end of the first side. Okay, so this is where you should have landed. And then you're going to go into the corner with two double crochets, chain two, swing your work around, go back in there with two double crochets. Okay, that's what we're looking like. Perfect. All right, so continue on with this, same as the previous round, twins in a stitch in every other stitch, and then in the corners, you're gonna do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay? So I will see you at the end of round 10, right here, okay? Okay, friends, we're rounding out uh, round 10. We're at the end here. We have one more set of twins to do. So it's gonna be right in this last stitch here. I'm gonna go in and do twins in a stitch. There we go. Okay. So to close out round 10, as always, we're gonna go into the top chain before the stitch, drop a loop and slip to close. Go into the stitch, drop a loop and slip, and then go into the corner, drop a loop and slip. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Beautiful, I love it. Okay, so on the long side, on the long side here, we should have 21 pairs of twins in a stitch. Okay, 21 for a total of 42 stitches. All right. And then on the short side here, I'll just tilt this around like this. On the short side, you should have uh, 18 pairs of twins here for a total of 36 stitches. Okay, super nice. And this is kind of what we're looking like. No puckering, no folding, none of the things. It's looking so nice. Love this, okay. So we're gonna move on to round 11. So round 11 is a round of double crochets, okay? So to start, what we're gonna do is we're going to chain three, and then we're gonna do a double crochet in the corner, chain two, swing our work around, we're gonna do two double crochets in the corner. Just like that. Okay, so the chain three, as always, counts as a stitch. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then don't forget about giving the very first stitch an upstairs neighbor. You can see that right there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do a double crochet in every stitch of this round. And then in the corners, it's going to be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay. 
So on the short side, we should have 40 double crochets. And then on the long side, we should have 46 double crochets. Okay, so continue doing this. And I shall see you at the end of round 11. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 11. I have one stitch remaining. Let's go ahead and do that double crochet. And then to close out round 11, we're going to go into the top chain before the actual stitch, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And then we're going to go into the last stitch, draw up a loop, slip to close, and then go into the chain space, slip to close. Okay. So we had a round of double crochets. It's perfect. Love it. Okay, so stitch counts. For the short side, 40 double crochets, just like that. And then on the long side, 46 double crochets. Okay, that's for round 11. All right, so for round 12, we have a round of half double crosses. So we're only going to have one round of these. All right. So we're going to chain three. That does count as a stitch. And then in the corner here, we're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to chain two. We're going to swing it around. We're going to go back into that corner with two half double crochets. Okay. So, like before when we did the, uh, the double crosses down here, we're going to do half doubles and we're going to skip the first one. We're going to go into the second one and do a half double. And then we're going to go back into the stitch we skipped and do a half double. Just like that. The cross is a little smaller, but it's the same thing. So we're going to skip the next stitch, go into the following one. So skip this one, go into this one, do a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch we skipped, and do a half double crochet. Just like that. Okay. So continue on doing the half double crochets until we get to the first corner, which is right here. Okay. So I'm going to do a few more silently so you can watch me. If you don't need that, then you can just fast forward me. Okay, so I'm going to place this on a brief pause and I shall be right back. Okay, here we are at the end of the first side. That's what they're looking like. Okay, and you should have 20 of these half double crosses. Okay, so two half double crochets regular and then 20 of these okay and then after you have your 20 this is where you should have ended and then in the corner two half double crochets chain two let's swing the work around and then go back into the corner with two half double crochets just like that okay so it's business as usual, half double crosses. Let's slide this over to expose the head of the stitch. We're gonna skip that for now, go into the next one with a half double crochet, yarn over, and then go back into that first one that we skipped, half double crochet, okay? So continue doing this, my friends. Go all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of round 12, right here, okay? I shall see you in just a second. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 12. I have two stitches remaining. 
So I'm going to yarn over and go into the last stitch, drop a loop, and do my half double, and then yarn over and go into the skipped stitch, which is right there. Do my half double. And then to close out round 12, I'm going to go into the top chain before the stitch, right there. Draw up a loop, slip to close, go into the next stitch, drop a loop and slip, and then go into the chain space, draw a loop and slip. Okay, so I've already covered it, but I'm going to do it for good measure. So on the short side, we have um, 44 stitches, and then on the long side, we have 50 stitches, okay? So that is the stitch count for round 12. It's laying perfectly, I love it. Okay, so for round 13, we're gonna do a round of double crochets. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain three. And then we're gonna go back into the corner with a double crochet. We're gonna chain two swing our work around, go back into the chain space there and do two double crochets. And then we are going to do double crochets for every stitch of the round. As always, don't forget to give the very first stitch of the side an upstairs neighbor. As you can see, this one is not visible, so we're gonna go into the chain space just like that, and we're gonna force that stitch to have an upstairs neighbor, just like that. And then we're gonna go into every stitch and do a double crochet, okay? So just for good measure, I'm gonna have us go down the one side and I will meet you here in the corner, okay? So I shall see you in just a second. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of the first side. Okay, so as of right now, before you get into the corner, you should have 46 double crochets. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so in the corner here, you're going to do two double crochets for a total stitch count of 48 double crochets for your short side. Okay, so then we're going to chain two and swing our work around. And then we're going to do two double crochets back into the corner. And then, as you can see, the first stitch doesn't have a head. So we're gonna put a double crochet back into that chain space. We're gonna force that first stitch to have an upstairs neighbor. And then we're gonna continue on doing double crochets for this side here. Okay, so you should have a total of 54 stitches for the long side. Okay, 54 double crochets for the long side. So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of the long side right here. Okay, okay, friends. So I'm at the end of the long side here. And before going into the chain space, I have 52 uh, double crochets. So now I'm going to go in to the corner and do my two double crochets for a total of 54 double crochets for the side. Okay. So then we're going to chain two, swing this around, and we're going to do two double crochets in the corner here. And as was before, um, the head of the stitch is not visible for this first stitch, so we're just gonna go into the chain space and force an upstairs neighbor to that very first stitch of the side, just like that. And then we're gonna carry on doing double crochets for every stitch of the side. So, in fact, we're gonna continue on doing double crochets for the rest of the round, okay? So, I shall see you at the end of round 13, okay? 
I gave you the stitch counts. If you need them again, just rewind me. And I will, of course, recap the stitch counts at the end of round 13. Okay, so double crochets in every stitch. And then make sure to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then you're going to force an upstairs neighbor on that first stitch of the side. Okay, so I shall see you at the end of round 13. Okay, friends, so I am closing in on round 13. I have two stitches remaining, two double crochets left. So there's one, and there is the second one right there. So to close off 13, we're gonna go into the top chain before the stitch, drop a loop, slip to close, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, slip to close, and then go into the corner and slip just like that. Okay, let me back the camera out. Okay, let's go diagonal so we can see. Okay, so this is round 13. On the long side, you should have 54 stitches from corner to corner, okay? Every corner has two chains, 54 on the long side, and then 48 stitches on the short side, okay? So that's what it should look like. All right, so there is that. Okay, so for the final round for week one, we have front post double crochets, but see, this is the front side. So in order to get the ridge to show on the front side, we actually have to turn our work, like flip it. So what we're going to do first is we are going to chain three, and then turn our work. Just like that. This is the back side. Okay, so we're gonna do front post double crochets in every single stitch from the previous round. Just yarn over, go down and around, draw up a loop, Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Down and around, drop a loop, go through two, go through two, okay? So I'm gonna do a few and be quiet so you can watch me. If you need to slow me down, hit the gear button. So continue doing this until we get down to the first corner here, okay? So I will meet you at the first corner, continue doing front post double crochets just like this, and I'll see you down there in just a second. Okay, so here we are at the end of the first side. This is what it should look like. And in the corner, we're going to do two double crochets chain two, swing our work around, and do two double crochets. Just like that, okay? We're gonna continue on doing front post double crochets in every stitch from the previous round. Yarning over, go down and around, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two. Just like that, okay? So. We're going to continue on for the remainder of the round, for round 14. We're going to do front post double crochets in every stitch, and then in the, the corners here, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay? So I shall see you at the end of round 14. Okay, friends. So here we are at the end of round 14. Okay? So... All we have left is what's in the corner here. So we do still have the chain three, so that will act as one of the double crochets for the corner. So we're gonna go right into the corner and do two double crochets. We're gonna chain two, and then we're gonna swing our work around, 
and then we're going to chain one. I mean, I'm sorry, one double crochet. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go into the top chain before the stitch there. Draw up a loop and slip. And then from here, we're going to chain two, grab our scissors, and we're going to cut off. Let's cut a tail, about yay long. We're going to pull the hook away from our work. We're going to hold on to the working yarn there and then pinch and slide down, just like that. And since we're here already on the back, this is the side that we're going to weave in our end. Go ahead and zoom us in. Okay. So, as I've shown before, you just yarn over the eye of the needle and then just slide it in like that. Okay. So then, we bring our work up here. Since it's green, I'm going to keep green with green. So, come down here, just go in between. It's always best to go in between the fibers, but if you can't, that's fine. That chain two and slide down locks that into place. It's not gonna come out. Okay, and then go back. Let's go and pick up another one, there we go. And then one final pass going this way. Just like that. Let's go ahead and grab the scissors. All right. And then let's come down to the bottom here. Let's just trim that. Perfect. Okay. So let me just move this all out of the way and zoom us out. Okay. So for round 14, let's see here. Let's, okay. So we're on the front side now. Super nice. Love it. Okay, so for the short side, okay, the last round, round 13, the short side had 48. So now we have 52. So there's 52 stitches for the short side. Okay? Chain two, chain two. And then on the long side, we have 58. 58. Uh, front post double crochets and then of course we have the chain twos okay so let's just take some quick measurements since we are at the end of week one <clears throat> and if you're watching a right-handed tutorial the numbers will show up backwards i apologize in advance so let's measure this <clears throat> excuse me okay so we are measuring 13 and a half inches by 15 inches. Okay, so not perfectly square. Let me just write that down. 13 and a half by 15 inches. Perfect. Okay, so this concludes week one of five weeks of our crochet along. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to give me a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do plan on putting out many more tutorials. If that's your thing, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And then, of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. It was so much fun doing this with you guys. I look forward to week two. And until then, have a great one, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.